Hello everyone. So there was a question on the community today about how do I get the contents of a custom field to be displayed in Confluence. Now this question from Cindelia for Nandes is all about, uh, I mean there is nothing much in the question but uh, it is very obvious what uh, she is trying to do. In my opinion, I think she is trying to uh, basically create a report in Confluence, which of course you can do. In Confluence, you have the option to use Jira macro. So maybe you want to create uh, a simple chart or maybe you want to just display a list of issues. Now the good thing is, the good thing about this Jira macro is that you can also configure it a bit more than normal. So when you insert a new macro, I'll, I'll show you. I, actually, I, I was looking at it. And uh, when, you, when, you click, when you insert this macro, you actually have the option to select your custom fields as well. So let me go back to my page. So this is one page and let us say you want to insert uh, a Jira macro here. Uh, so usually on Jira server you can do something like uh, left curly braces and it will give you like a th th there is usually a pop-up with the option to insert macros and you can, you can actually start typing <laughs> the macro name but you have to click on this on top uh, to do it on uh, the cloud version so on cloud version you, you can actually use the forward slash and if you type in jira you can actually insert your uh, your your jira issues so if you insert it like this uh, of course it will have some columns like key and summary but you also have uh, some other op some other fields that you can uh, actually customize so basically in the column to display you can actually select your own <laughs> your own uh, custom field so something like this or maybe I I'm just trying to find a field that hopefully will have something so you can actually insert this and when you uh, so you can actually see this it looks really good and if you publish it it will display this information to you with that custom field very nicely presented in this table which uh, you can uh, take a look at you can take decisions without of course leaving your uh, Jira instance uh, because you want to do things within Jira and uh, not, not not Jira I'm, I'm saying Confluence Confluence instance so this is this is how you will do it and uh, and I think uh, this is really useful because many people many many uh, people who just want to know what is happening at high level you can actually create a report for them it is also in my pipe in my personal uh, list of things that I have to also create um, like proper videos on Confluence, like a proper Confluence uh, tutorial, and I will try to cover these things. Uh, but today I was looking at this question, so I thought I'll probably talk about it very quickly because it is a simple thing, but sometimes people are not really sure how to do it and where to do it. When you insert that particular macro. It is not very obvious that you have to click on display options uh, because all you see is key and summary and of course you know some default system fields but you can also bring in more fields if you want and that is all that is all i wanted to talk about in this video i hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new today thank you very much bye bye